Creating Invoice with Images allows the user to add a PDF along with the invoice entry. The process can be used to simply add the attachment for easier lookup, or it can be used to send the invoice through an electronic approval process where it will be in a temporary file until it's finalized and transferred. To begin, scan the invoices. Because the browse goes to the last location, it's a good idea to have a central location for the PDFs. Click on the Browse button at the top if you should need to change to a different folder. Once the folder is selected, the list of PDFs will display on the left. Click on the image to view and to add to the selected box for this invoice. Multiple images can be selected and are put in the selected box as they are selected on the left. To move out of the selection, just unclick. The highlighted items should match the items in the selected box and will be attached to that invoice. Enter the invoice data, and unlike a regular AP invoice, the entry does not need to be completed or even balanced at this point. If only the job, the class, and the vendor is known, it can be entered waiting for more information from the project manager. In this case, we can just enter the invoice number and the dollar amount since it's directly on the ticket. Comments can be added and will stay with this invoice for the whole time it's in the system. It can also be seen in check processing, in JCPM, when the invoice is viewed, and in accounting. When finished with the entry, select the Save and Add Another Invoice. It does default to Submit it for Project Distribution, but if you have the security to do so, you can change the status. Also, the Save No Approval allows you to save the invoice directly into accounts payable from this screen without going through any kind of approval process. However, if this is selected, the invoice will need to have proper distribution, PDF, and month-end information before it will be transferred. Once the invoices are added, the project managers can then see them in the JCPM. Unlike most of the other tiles, the invoices to approve is not specific to the job selected at the top. The invoices to approve will show invoices for all the jobs for which the project manager has access. The system will also display in red any invoices that are past the due date. The ability to change the invoice data is determined by the security given to the user. Depending on their security, they may edit the invoice distribution, the dollar amounts, or the status. The user may also be limited to a specific status option for more detailed routing and approval. The Comments section displays comments from any user with access and will display the user name and the time that the comment was added. Each comment made throughout the routing system will display here. Once the invoice is edited to the user's limit, select the Approve, Approve as Noted, Reject, Hold. The invoice in the image will now move over to that status and Accounts Payable will be able to see that new transaction. Over to the right, I can see Invoices to Process. When I select the Invoices to Process, I can choose my invoice status at the top. When I select the status, it will be limited to invoices with that status only. So we can see this one is approved as noted by PM. And I can see that the notes going back and forth are telling the user to change the vendor from Home Depot to Georgia Power. That process has been done, 
And to do that, you can use the change locked fields. This is an accounting function, um, but anything in this gray section at the top can be changed by hitting the change locked fields, including the control, the class, the vendor, and the order number if needed. The only thing that cannot be changed is the invoice number. And once that is updated, the save and close will move this information and this invoice should now be ready for transfer. The transfer button will send this information and this invoice to accounts payable as a live AP invoice. So when I check this button, it's going to do a double check of the month end date, the distribution to make sure it's valid, the dollar amounts to make sure they match, and that there is a proper PDF on the invoice. Once I check everything, I can then transfer those invoices to accounting. Now I can go over and browse that invoice Here it is right here, and the system tells me I have two PDFs associated, and I can view them. You can see I can also look at all the comments that are associated with this, and I can also delete this extra PDF that was added by mistake. We can look at the job information right here over on the JCPM side and you can see how that invoice will display when I'm looking at job information. So if I come into the financial projections, that allows me to see not only all the transactions for the job, but I can come in and take a look at AP invoices. If I look up the Georgia Power, I can see all of the documents associated pull up that invoice and view the image. I can also see that image when I go into either the enter projections or the cost transactions. So if I move down here to say um, temporary power, I can look at the all cost detail Here's my Georgia Power, and I can view that image. So you can see how entering that invoice with images, even if you aren't using it as an approval, uh, is really handy for everyone. You're not digging in a file to find a copy of an invoice. You can simply look it up by vendor, look it up by cost code, and view the invoice image. Another handy feature is the ability to email the project manager invoice list. So if you do have several that are waiting to process, we can look in here and see that there are still several submitted for project distribution. We can email this list to the project managers so that they have a heads up that they're still awaiting approval. The email address used for that process is found in the job file and the PM email right here. So give us a call if you would like to start setting up your invoice with images. We can help you with the setup and go through the processing specific to your company, and we look forward to hearing from you.